Welcome, dear students. Welcome to our today's online class. We are studying about linear equations, equations of a straight line from chapter number 12. And today's class, we are going to learn how to solve linear equations with variables on both sides of equality sign. That is from chapter number 12. B or exercise 12B. Solve the following equations having variables on both sides. Let's say question number one from chapter 12B. 8y minus 4y equals to 20. Here we have two variables, okay, 8y and minus 4y, but they are like terms because they have same variable y. Now, how to solve this? We know we have learned in our first chapter of algebra, fundamental concept on algebra, that whenever we have like terms, they can add up, they can subtract. Okay, so here we have subtraction, so we will subtract 4y from 8y. So let us start solving this equation. So 8y minus 4y is equal to 4y which is equals to 20. Now we need to find the value of y. So y is equal to 20 upon 4. And when we divide 20 by 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 fives are 20. We'll get y as 5. So this is the required answer. Is that clear students? Let's take another question. Question number 5. 8 minus 7x equals to 13x plus 8. So here we have variable 7x and 13x. But they are on the opposite sides of the equality sign. So what we'll try to do is we'll try to write the variables on left hand side and write the constant terms on the right hand side. But you can write the variables on the right hand side and constant on the left hand side also it means the same thing okay so i'll write variables on the left hand side so I, i'll put this as minus 7x this plus 13x when it comes to this side it will become minus 13x so minus 7x minus 13x equals to 8 and this plus 8 becomes minus 8 or now 7x and 13x they are like terms having same sign so they will add up so 7 plus 13 is 20 but with negative sign so this will be minus 20x equals to 8 minus 8 is 0 now we need x so x is equal to 0 this minus 20 goes to the denominator okay so 0 upon minus 20 and 0 divided by any number will give us 0 0 multiplied by any number will also give us 0. So, x is equal to 0. So, this is the required answer. Let's take another one. Question number 12. 0.4x minus 1.2 equals to 0.3x plus 0 0.60 or 6. Means the same thing, okay? So here we have variables on the both side, okay? So we'll write this, bring this variable to the left hand side and take this constant to the right hand side. Let's do that. So point 0 0.4x minus this plus will become minus 0.3x equals to 0 0.6 plus this becomes plus 1.2. Now, when we solve this, subtract 0.3 from 0.4, we get 0.1x equals to, this will add up, so 1.2. 1.2, how do we do this? And 0.6, so when we add this, we get 2 and 6 is 8, we have point and 1 plus 0 is 1, so we'll get 1.8, okay? Now, we'll convert this decimal into fraction so 0.1 means 1 upon 10 x equals to 
1.8 means 18 over 10. So this 10 and this 10, they will cancel each other. Instead of doing this step, you can directly cancel over here also because their decimal values are same, okay? So you can directly cancel over here and skip this step and move on to the next step. Or if you are a little confused, you, you convert the decimals into fractions and then solve. So what do we get? On the left hand side, we have one into x is x equal to, on the right hand side, we have 18. So x is equal to 18 is the required answer. Let's take another one. Question number 17. 7 bracket open x minus 2 bracket close equals to 2 bracket open 2x minus 4 bracket close. So this bracket means multiplication, which we have already learned in the fundamental concept as well as in fraction. So now we will multiply x minus 2 by 7 and 2x minus 4 by 2. Let us do this then. So 7 into x is 7x. We have to multiply sign also. So plus into minus is minus and 7 twos are 14 equals to 2 twos are 4 and x plus into minus is minus 2 fours are 8. So we'll bring, take the variable to the other side and constant to the right hand side. So this will become 7x minus 4x equals to minus 8 minus 14 will become plus 14. 7x minus 4x is 3x and minus 8 plus 14 is 6 because they, they have different signs so they will subtract but the sign of higher number will be used so plus 6. x is equal to 6 upon 3. And three ones are three, three twos are six. Therefore, the value of x is two. Or we can also say the root of equation seven into x minus two equals to two into two x minus four is two. Let's take last question from this chapter. Question number 18. Bracket open x minus four, bracket close, bracket open two x plus three, bracket close equals to 2x squared. So here we have second degree variable x squared, okay, which is not a linear equation, but do not get confused over here, okay. Linear equation is a first order equation, okay, but here it is given as second degree a variable or equation because x has power 2 but do not get afraid just simply start solving this equation by first doing the multiplication because here we have multiplication okay so let us start this so now these two terms needs to be multiplied so how are we going to do we'll multiply 2x plus 3 first by x and again, we'll multiply 2x plus 3 by minus 4. Let us do this multiplication. So x, we'll first multiply with this. x into 2x is 2x squared. So x into 2x. So there are two x's. So we'll write this as x squared. Okay. Now with 3, plus into plus is plus, And x into 3 is 3x. Please multiply the signs also. Now we are done with x, now we have to multiply with 4. Again, we'll multiply 2x plus 3 both by 4, okay, minus 4. So first multiply the sign, minus into plus is minus, and 4 twos are 8x, minus into plus is minus, 4 threes are 12. So we have done with multiplication, this will be equal to 2x square. Now we'll Keep all the variables on the left hand side and take the constant to the right hand side. So this will become 2x squared plus 3x minus 8x plus 2x squared will become minus 2x squared and minus 12 will become plus 12. Now here, 2x squared, we have plus 2x squared and here we have minus 2x squared. It is something like 2 minus 2 is how much? zero. So here also 2x square 
minus 2x square will give us 0. And instead of writing this 0 in the next stage, you can directly write or cancel them here by just cancelling like this. So plus 2x square and minus 2x square, they cancel each other. Okay, which means their subtraction will be 0. So what are we left with? Plus 3x minus 8x. So plus 3x and minus 8x will subtract. Okay, and we'll get minus 5x equals to 12. Or x is equal to 12 upon minus 5. So here we have to divide 12 by minus 5. So we'll keep this sign aside for a while. Okay, but we have to write that minus at the end. So we'll divide, take the numbers only. So divide 12 by 5. So 5 to the is 10 minus so we are left with 2 so our answer will be 2 quotient 2 2 upon 5 okay so with negative sign so the value of x is minus 2 2 upon 5 please do not forget to write this negative sign if you write only 2 2 upon 5 then your answer will be wrong because we have negative sign also because negative 2 and plus 2 they are completely different and the difference between them is 4 okay so please do not mess with signs please write the correct signs so this is the required answer of this particular equation so with this we end our today's class based on today's learning there's an assignment for you from exercise number 2b please do it and send it to me stay safe and do all things well.